Good afternoon. I got this really big box in the mail yesterday. I couldn't wait to open it up, but I wanted to wait until I could film it so I could share what was inside with you. This is Janelle, my daughter. She wants to know what's inside the box. You wanna know what's inside the box? Yep. Me too. So let's get started. And look at cute little message from Hotel Supplies Plus. It says, hi Janae, would you be our Valentine? I sure will. Love is in the air and we hope that you love this brand new bath salts kit and Valentine's 2022 fragrance oil collection. If you make anything, we'd love to see your creations. Oh my goodness! This is the recipe, the Sweet Cheeks recipe. So I think another video is coming up really soon. Do this very carefully. Very good. Champagne. You smell it? Mm, that smells really good. Mm, it smells like it smells a thousand more. wishes, correct? It does kind of smell like a thousand wishes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That smells really, really good. Wow. Mmm, that's sweet with grapefruit, would you say? Mm-hmm. A little bit good. of flowers in there too, like some flowers, sweet, little sparkle, like a little like, you know, like if you had like some 7-Up or some soda or something. Mm -hmm. That's the effervescence, that's that champagne part. Man, mmm, that's good. Oh, that's good. There's more! So excited, words can't even come out of my mouth. Like what? There's six. What's that one? Cashmere and pear fragrance oil. I love it. This has like almost a like a a candied pear. Yeah, it kind of smells like a candy pear. Is it better? Yeah. Sign me up for this one. I like it. Okay. I'm read that for me. <laughs> Black blackberry and magnolia. Yes. But we have a magnolia tree. Did you know we have a magnolia tree in the front yard? Have you ever smelled it? No, they smell like nothing. They smell like this. It's more like, it's more like fruity or something. Yeah, it's that blackberry. So that black, the fruitiness blended with the flower is soft, right? It's like not too fruity, not too flowery. If you like something like a, a blend of that, blackberry, magnolia is the one to go with. And what do we have next? Lemon drop cookies. Kind of gives you uh, like baked a, smell. Yeah, that's and it has a good. baked smell. So it's like baked lemon sugar cookie, like pound cake, but but more sweet and and fresh and clean. Clean cookies. I really like that. One. That's a good one. That's a good. One. We like to smell things that smell like what we like to eat. What's this one say? <laughs> it says white chocolate. White chocolate, that's the one that I think we smelled as soon as we open up the box. So that means this baby right here is gonna be so fragrant and so luxurious, right? You smelled it? I did. No, this. <laughs> mm -hmm. It almost has like a... Um, it's like... Like it's a like different a, candy, like a... Um, yeah. Like a, it's like a candy like a smell. Toffee? Yeah, yeah. It almost has a little bit of a toffee smell to it. It's white chocolate, so it's, it's not like a it's not like a smack you in the face milk chocolate. It's not like a fudge or dark chocolate. It has like a unique spin on it. It has the white chocolate essence, but it has a little bit of like if you open up a box of um, Ru like Russell Stover's candies, you know, and you have that blend of all the different chocolates coming out of the box at you at the same time. No, I, I think that this one is very, very strong. So um, if you like the strong uh, chocolatey smell, you're gonna really like this. I think it might be fun also to pair this with a strawberry fragrance. That way you get that kind of like chocolate dipped strawberry scent. So this would be good uh, mixed up with other things too. Last one, what does it say? Love you very much. Love her very much. <laughs> that's what you said to me? No, that's the fragrance. <laughs> you know what? Give me this. That that smells like a gum. That gum, I I, I smelled that before. It smells like gum. No, it just changed now. It changed. <laughs> it smells good though. 
They all have a similar smell to a thousand Ooh, wishes. It does smell like bubblicious. Yeah. And I feel like I want to blow one of those big bubbles that's like the size of your head and like let it pop all over my face. It 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 smells like it has fruit in it. Like if you did like a, a fruit punch bubblicious. Yeah. Fruit punch bubblicious. That's what I got. That's love you very much. I, I think this would be cute if you were doing like a um like a gumball or you know a um, heart. Yeah, I, I see like a gumball theme or a heart theme or something really cute, colorful, pinks, reds, you know, maybe rainbow color. This is a really fun, uh, great for kids, don't you think? Not too sophisticated, like something that everybody would love. Really, really cool. I love you very much. So our next video, what we'll do is we will actually make the product. Okay, so we have everything measured out. Beautiful, beautiful, ready to go into two separate bowls. We've just finished step one, which was prep. What's step number two? Create salt mixture. Create salt mixture. It's coming together. It's exciting. To a large measuring cup, we have a large measuring bowl. Add your 28 ounces of European salt and 2.25 ounce baking soda and mix well. We have already pre-measured our salts, so let's go ahead and add those to the bowl. So then, oh, the 2.25 ounces of baking powder. I'll have our lovely assistant, Nellie Tires, add that to the bowl. <laughs> She's trying to eat the baking soda. And so now that we've added those two ingredients, it now tells us to mix them well. So we're going to use our whisk to mix. Just mixing it all up, getting the baking soda and salt well distributed. Very nice. That's great, Nelly. We have completed step two, which was create a salt mixture. What's step three? Mix fragrance. In a small bowl, combine 0 0.35 ounces of polysorbate 80 and 0 0.35 ounces pink champagne fragrance oil. And it says mix well. Oh, that sounds easy enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Which one's the polysorbate? This one. Okay, so take the polysorbate <laughs> and squeeze that into our bowl. Squeeze. So go ahead and pour in our fragrance oil. Beautiful. Go ahead and squeegee, I mean, go ahead and spatula some of the rest of that in there so we get every last drop of that amazing pink champagne fragrance oil. And then go ahead and give that a mix. All right, we've completed step three. This has been pretty easy so far, huh? It's been super easy because they gave us all the right measurements already. Yeah. So divide the salt mixture between two bowls. Two bowls right here. Take this like this. And add, add scoops. We're gonna do it um, kind of scientifically, but not really. But a peaceful smell. Mm. I'm ready to jump in these salts right now. Okay. To one bowl, we're gonna add the hazelnut oil which we've already pre-measured out. Okay, so that'll be this one. Just add it to that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are mixing that so good. Okay, we're gonna add rose petal powder to the same bowl that we put the hazelnut oil in. And carefully not to wildly splash it. <laughs> okay, let's mix that in. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like all mixed in. Oh, wow. It's like a rich, rich color. It's like my kind of color, huh, now? Yeah. Like I like that, my color, too. Yeah, like a purpley. Um, like reddish. Reddish. Like. Earthy color. That's really pretty. Next, we're going to add our... Got some great stir in there, Look. Look. She ain't even got to the bottom of the bowl yet. 
That's why I was trying so hard. Mama! Can get down there. So when you want to get it to the bottom of the ball, you just kind of have to turn it over, rotate it, to get everything equally dispersed. So step nine is add pink mica. To the second bowl, add five mic micro scoops French milk. Milk? Hmm. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know who's making milk salts. That sounds like it might be pretty cool. Is it to the second bowl, add five micro scoops French silk stockings mica powder. All right, let's do it. Bowl there. Beautiful. It's got a little shimmer to it, right? Yeah. Isn't mica always have like shimmer to it? Yeah, I think most micas I've seen are. So is this going to be like a light pink? Yeah, it looks like a little lighter than the other one. A little bit. I like how it, like the sand, I mean the salts are like glittery now. Yes, I love, I don't think there's a such thing as too much glitter. <laughs> no such thing. Now it says gently whisk to combine. Ooh, Ooh we are not whisking. <laughs> this is not a whisk. <laughs> Let's use one of our little baby whisks. What's that thing? And so now we've mixed in the rose petal powder as well as the French silk stocking mica powder here with a little bit of shimmer. And I think our next step is to combine the two, but look how pretty they are. These colors are gorgeous. So it says combine both bowls and mix well. So I'm gonna bring back the big bowl and we're gonna combine both of them. Now I wonder why they had us do them separately. I think we're gonna find out here in a minute. This gold will be a very nice touch. What is it? That was the, um. Let me smell. It's a fire one. Okay, so we discovered a little mistake. Um, it looks like back when we mixed the 0.35 polysorbate with the pink fragrance champagne, we never put it in to the salts. So it, it said mix well, we mixed them well together, but we didn't mix them into the main salt mixture. So what we're gonna do instead is just pour a little bit of it into this one and a little bit of it into that one because we're looking through the directions and it doesn't say to mix it in anywhere else. This is the point to me. We should have mixed it in earlier. So we're going to remedy that mistake now, okay? So let's go ahead and add the fragrance oil, a little bit of that to that, a little bit of that to that. I'm just doing half and half because it would have went into the whole thing. And then now we're going to mix this. And you know what this is really going to do is like really kind of help it, uh, the powders bind to the salts even better. As you can see, this color is even more vibrant and even more pretty. I think the wetness of that fragrance oil and the polysorbate is really um, making the color more saturated and more beautiful. So don't forget that step. Make sure you add in those liquid ingredients. Okay. So these colors are really coming to life. I'm just going to give them a really good turnover again. Make sure that those fragrance oils are all mixed in throughout. We've done step number 10. We've mixed in the French silk stockings mica powder into the salts. And now we're going to combine both bowls and mix well. Before we can, um, it's going to have to dry overnight before we can actually package them up. Beautiful. And go ahead and add in our French silk stockings mica powdered covered salts. Beautiful. Now it says mix well. She's an excellent whisker. Hit it nails. Why did we make two why did we make two different colors? Well I think we're about to see it right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix them together. So I think the whole idea is that you're getting this variation in the colors. You know what I mean? It's not all the same. You're getting like a really interesting uh, texture and pattern. So now we're gonna spread the salts over a cookie sheet and let it dry overnight. I'm gonna line it with a little wax paper so they come off the 
tray nice and easy. Okay, so <laughs> another thing we noticed is that the instructions didn't tell us when to put in the gold mica powder. So we're just gonna add it to the already pre-mixed two bowls of salts and see what that looks like. So we're just gonna add in this gold. Beautiful. I think it's gonna add a nice shimmer to this um, salt gonna mixture. Stretch it? That gold and that pink. Now we're getting some pretty shimmer on that. This is a really nice color. This is like, like those little uh, sand zen gardens, you know what I mean? They have a little baby. You don't think they go like this? Yeah. Yeah. So this is what it looks like all spread out on the clicky sheets. We are going to let it dry overnight. Tomorrow we'll simply be spooning our salts into the jars and we'll label them with something really cute and maybe give them to our special valentine who daddy yo daddy yes who said who <laughs> all righty until tomorrow